I just had this tiny, tiny ass meal and like, I can't even finish it. I, it's not that I'm full. I am full, but I'm like nauseous. I just finished a whole week fast and like changed my appetite so much. I used to eat on this plate that was like eight inches around and like I would just shovel it in and like now I can't even fit. I'm, I'm out of breath because I'm like tired. I spent like a week fasting and I worked out this morning. I'm just making this log for my, I don't know, for my future self. I, I don't know. It's super interesting to me, but I guess for other people who just eat normally and don't really care. It's not interesting, but isn't it such an adorable and like decadent little meal? I had the idea that if I make each meal colorful, full of variety, even if it's a small amount, it'll be like super satisfying to eat with like a lot of textures and flavors. And the fast definitely did help me with like my sugar cravings and my taste buds because now like the vegetables and everything is like super complex and satisfying to eat. Uh, I'll put a picture of what it looks like before, but yeah, I have a lot to do today. Well, I guess I don't technically, I just want to do a lot. Uh, it's summer break for me and I, I couldn't even finish the water. I'm just so nauseous. I heard that in about four days, my appetite should return. All I want to do right now is like lie down and I feel like I've earned it because I worked out for an hour this morning. I'm just super tired even though this is like low carb, it shouldn't spike my blood glucose or anything, but yeah, anyway. This is like the tiniest food prep ever. Like one tiny little tomato. Like you always, like it, even not not just like on recipe videos, but like in the past, like this cutting board used to be filled with vegetables. Like I feel like fasting is like a natural gastric bypass or something. But yeah, having scallops, a little bit of fancy cheese, which is, I was grating cheese, so that's why the cutting board is messy like that. And a little bit of salad for garnish. You know, I used to use the big bowls because I'm like, I want to have a salad, so like I need a big bowl, but then I realized, why don't I just make the salad smaller and just treat it like a garnish? And then uh, I was having a really bad day, so I decided to get caviar. And it's like 10. I mean, I was just having a rough go of it. And I'm going to try star fruit. I'm going to see if after the fasting, if star fruit will be tasty to me, because I remember as a kid, I used to think it was so sour. So we'll see. And then like recently, things have been tasting really sweet to me since my taste buds have changed. But then I'm also like suspicious because I'm like, what if it's just GMO? But like yesterday, I accidentally ate like a candy bar with cane sugar in it. And it was super crazy sweet. So maybe this is just like the natural sweetness of things. So I'll, I'll show you how it goes after I cook it. I've literally never cooked scallop before and I've never bought caviar before either, but you know, in the past I used to spend so much money on like junk food when I was down. I would spend like the same amount on like chips and cake and baked goods. But now like, now my comfort foods is like a whole new breed, but at least, at least it will not make me gain too much weight. And yeah, I told myself not to cry too much because the fat cells can hear you crying because when you're stressed out, you release cortisol, which spikes your blood sugar, which leads to a whole sequence of events that makes it hard to lose weight. Also, also, I'm going to try propagating some of the herbs. Now that my taste buds have changed, I decided that I'm going to try seasoning with herbs. And I used to never get them because I'm like, oh, I buy them and then they go bad in the fridge. I never use them up. But I'm like, you know what? I do want to use herbs more often. I'm going to try to see if I can keep them alive. 
So yeah, I finally calmed down a bit. So my appetite actually returned and it's like 10 at night. But after fasting, I realized it's been pretty easy to just like delay, delay, delay meals. I guess that can't be a good practice, but oh well. I want to make my meal look really pretty because I think that would be pretty satisfying to consume. Oh, also I did also splurge on the cheese as well. Flexing here. Well, <laughs> uh, the cheese is like, um, it said award winning on it. It's not, it's not much more expensive than normal cheese. I just, I just felt really, really bad today. And I thought it was cause I had low blood sugar because I barely had anything for lunch. I checked my blood sugar, it was normal, it was 90. Like that's the new thing, checking my blood sugar all the time. But yeah, I'm gonna cook this up. I'm also gonna cut the star fruit. Um, I'm too lazy to film myself cutting it. So I just wanted to show you my tiny prep board. I decided to just use half of the star fruit considering that during lunch, I could barely even finish it. And then I had the runs for several hours. Uh, I'm not gonna take that risk. Yet. I'm just gonna have this much. Okay, I'm sure the scallops are waiting for me to cook them now. I'll talk to you later. And honestly, part of the crying is just cause I'm so lonely. So that's probably why I'm rambling on this video. Also, I'm using significantly less oil this time because I found out that if you eat too much oil, that's why you get the runs, so... Yeah. Okay, I think that's about all. I can't believe I did so much research on fasting and the benefits of it and like the insulin resistant benefits and the autophagy stuff. But I didn't look up like what you're supposed to do after it. I, I thought I could just, oh, eat simple whole foods. But like, nah, I, I'm so used to eating like low carb, high fat that like... <laughs> I had a bad go of it, but part of it is I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat carbs. Um, I don't want to eat bread or pasta or any of that because it's just bad for my system. Also, everything was dark just because I'm sad. I think you're supposed to put these like five minutes on each side. I don't I guess. Maybe, probably. Well, the garlic burnt to a crisp. I had to quickly get it out before the whole thing tastes like burnt garlic. Looks kind of burnt, not gonna lie. I think I was supposed to cook it on low heat. Holy cow, how could I, I turned on the lights for this because it's just so gorgeous. I feel a lot more cheerful now. How can anyone be sad when they have such a gorgeous meal in front of them? I put the caviar and the cheese on top of the scallops. I came up with this recipe myself. Well, let's dig in. I'm not paying the calories for these. This is absolutely vile. I think they're not ripe. And I think the vitamin C is what makes it sour, but I'm not eating that. I kind of get it now why Asians give fruit as dessert. They're really sweet. Like if you don't ruin your taste buds with chocolate and Sugar, like, this is excellent. It's very sweet. I was craving the whole, or half the grapefruit, but this whole experiment is about trying to reduce my appetite. So my new motto is have less than you think you need. Well, I'm glad I didn't get the whole half of the grapefruit because I actually got kind of full. I'm trying to work on Eating only until eight tenths full. I know this is all diet culture, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. And the boyfriend said that he wants me to get my own support system. This is my support system. <laughs> Joking. Uh, I'm so lonely and I can't find anyone I can really click with, but I mean, that's on me, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go shower and think about whether or not I want to finish this. Um, I'm having totally new mindsets. Like, it's okay to waste food because the thing that matters most is like 
my body and like honoring its signals, I, I'm just going to be miserable if I like eat past satiation and then like waste all that effort in trying to get my appetite down. So we'll see how this experiment goes. Um, I know my rambling's gone on pretty long. I don't even know who, if at all, will watch this, but yeah, I guess I just wanted a place to blog. And I'm getting tired of spamming online places with my spam, so like, I'm going to just make videos and for the record, I did not promote anything. This is just me, this is just my own shouting into the void, being really sad. And that the only thing I can control is my weight. And that's all that's been really there for me. I'm just so please don't report me or anything, I guess. Because I really don't have anywhere to vent.